<laughs> and what do you think about the coaching? Oh, you are doing uh, such a great job. Like, honestly, um, your YouTube isn't that big yet, but I'm pretty sure your YouTube will rise since your... I mean, this is something you can't have any impact on, but your voice is really nice to listen to, which is why people probably would prefer your coaching videos and sessions over another guy. As soon as you're in the game, you're just focused on the coaching, which is really good, I think, which is why people... Um, will book your coaching more often because it's just helpful. If you ever thought about booking a coaching session, now is the time. On my website, I do have special discounts up to 50% to every single option of coaching. So if you want to get better and take advantage of the discounts, go ahead and book your own personalized coaching until it's too late. I will see you in the session. Okay, good. So the leash. We're going to go from the little things to the biggest one with the long sword. Like getting, like when you play against Zeri, and uh, Zillion, it's usually yeah. good to get long sword three potions because you're looking to trade really hard. Zeri is a okay. weak champion early game compared to the Vayne. If you get the push, especially because you have a Soraka, one of the best lane bullies, like Soraka, Karma, Nami, they can be yeah. considered lane bullies. Okay. So we can play aggressive in this lane. So long sword will help you out with the trading consistently on the lane. Right here, you should always. So did you go short way? Yeah, you went like this. So is there a way, a reason why you went like this and not like through the river? Uh, no, I was like, there is no reason. I could have went uh, yes. through the river since they can't really punish me. Exactly. Who's going to win? Who's going to win uh, two versus two there? In the river fight, probably us, since I can like tumble reset on the wall. True. And how about like Zeri level one compared to Vayne level one? What do you think here? Uh, in the lane, uh, in the, I in the cheese, in the cheese, two v two. Uh, I'll think I can, I can win it. She got her passive, yes. which is not good, but I got the slow from um, Soraka Q, and if True. I'll manage to dodge the Zillion bomb, which I should, since I got a tumble, uh, we should win the two v two. I think. So in a vacuum, Zeri against Vayne, who do you think wins? Um. And the level one maybe is Zeri. Exactly. So, so it's very close. It depends on like who, whoever is going to stack the little tempo faster. If you can use the tumble in the wall. So it's 50-50. But tell me a little bit more about Soraka Zillion in the cheese. Um, short way like this. Um, yeah, I think Soraka Q is easier to hit if Zeri auto attacks me. And I could uh, dodge the Zillion bomb. Exactly. So Soraka should be stronger, level 1. Yes, much stronger. In fact, look at this. Soraka has 8 seconds on the Q and she does a lot of damage. This guy has 10 seconds on the Q. And Soraka yeah. Q yeah. is instant and it gives healing. So there is no way we lose this, this fight if we just go like this. And okay. the advantage yeah. is that we're going to get faster on the lane so we can get prior and we can like look to slow push zone them level 1 and play from there. Okay, yeah, so it would sure. have been much better to do this. And then also, like, when you're leashing like this, this is very inefficient. Like, usually, what I will do with Vayne, like, I will always go to River if I can. But if it's Kai'Sa, not to Zyra Khan, I will most likely just go like this. Uh, yeah, but yeah. if it's not, then I will just do it like this. Like, auto. Well, I lost yeah. here, so let's see. Yeah, it's... So it's like this. Auto, tumble into the wall, and then I will just, like, do around four or five auto attacks, and then I will just go onto the lane. But okay, it's really yeah. important to get this auto tumble di dynamic. Okay, yeah, sure. Because it's just 30 mana. So this is like a very subtle thing. Right here, on the laning phase, what is the most important thing on the laning phase here? Um, not getting hit by Zillion Bombs. True. I think. Considering that Zillion, bomb, Zillion has Irie, but he didn't really go for spell tips, I don't know if you saw. Uh, he doesn't have that much damage. But because I, I like sometimes look. use them because I feel like I don't feel this comfortable with like the camera, camera? Move speed mouse setting. Okay. But like F keys are like because F keys are always on point on the person, so it's like. But I use them too little. Sometimes, yes. not often. Yeah, usually okay. if you press F keys and then you go there and then you press, you go on yourself. F key, go on yourself. 
yeah. F key go on yourself. Sometimes the F key is bad because sometimes you're going to press F key and the F key is going to be like this and you're not going to see the enemy. So you basically have to F key, move your camera a bit and actually see the enemy. Because if you're looking with the camera, you're moving the camera exactly on the on the best angle that you can actually see both of the people. So yeah. F keys have disadvantages as well. Uh, but it's whatever you prefer. Like personally, I prefer the moving the camera, but if you prefer F keys, that's completely fine. The problem okay. is definitely like slowness on the camera control. Okay, on yes. The, on the camera moving. Uh, so solution is simple, either F keys or or uh, getting camera faster. Yeah, yeah okay. The camera speed. Okay, good. Okay, well, this is this is like this camera thing is not a little. It's a bit bigger than the last uh, thing. It's 510. So let's see the 510. Okay, let's see what it was. I'm pretty sure this is like, oh yeah, this five. So we go in, we didn't make it obvious, and then we just go on the on the zero, which is good. You get the condemn very, very well. Very, very good kiting. Then you go on the zillion. By the way, he flashed here for no reason. He just panicked. Mm. I don't know why he flashed here. He has 300 HP. But again, he knows better. Right here, he is escaping. You're kiting very, very well. Good kiting, good kiting, good kiting. Okay. Boom. What now? I should ping them. I should ping them for assistance to push the wave since he is in the bush. Let's see one second. So how is the wave right now? Uh, it's pushing into me really hard, I guess. True. So then what are the options right here, though? I could backport. True. Uh, or you could I'd... push. Yeah. So those are the options. Tell me the advantages of the backport and the disadvantages. Well, tell you started with the disadvantages of the backport. Uh, well, the disadvantage of the backport is that I don't got like the amount of gold that I would like to have with Wayne because I'd like to have 1.1 for yes. Berserks. Um, but the advantage obviously would be that I got uh, a really high, a big wave uh, close to my turret, which I could potentially um, freeze. Yes. True. And then, yeah, the lane would be like really chill. Exactly. So we have an option to like fast push, but we need our jungle for sure. And we have the option of just recalling now. If you recall now, you don't really have too much gold uh, to recall on. I mean, you can go longsword, dagger, like boots, something like this, and then potion or something like this. It's fine. Uh, but in this situation, since you have a jungle that doesn't really gank too well, it's better to actually stay and push. If you had an Elise and you're recalling right now and you ask her to come bot again because you're going to have a freeze here by the time that you come back in the lane, then it's better to recall, even though you don't have the item. Yeah, but okay. since by pushing, you're going to get Berserkers and refillable potion, which is by the way, poggers, and you have a non-ganking jungle like Mastery, looking to just recall and freeze is not good here. Okay. So this is why. The main reason why recalling now is not good is because by pushing by you know screwing up the freeze here you're going to get berserkers refillable potion which is good if you had berserkers it's 100 percent much better to just recall here yeah yeah okay so this okay. is how you should see it but when you ping you should ping now and i will ping and i will, I will type help push i'll type help push and then ping assistance on the head the head of the mastery because after he left you try to ping but yeah, it's but already late yeah, yeah see so this is by far the biggest mistake that we identified so slowness on the camera control is the big, the, the second big wave management. Being fast on deciding between recall without pushing, crushing and recalling, or uh, slow pushing into crashing. We're going to see that slow pushing into crashing is another mistake that you're doing uh, in the next play. I'll show you right okay. now. I didn't want to tell you in the game. I wanted to let you to do the mistake and then right now we're going to fix it. Okay. Good. Right here. Okay. Yeah. So there is a little bit of a fight here. Let's see. Okay. Let's see this one. So you're chilling. Oh yeah. And because of that thing, look what happened right here. Because yeah, of the thing that we, ball. it's super terrible. And right now we can't really do much. Yeah. Because we had to stay and we had to push and then we had to crush again. And then, so this kind of like screwed us up. Like, Vayne is definitely not a good champion, but if you have this wave management, she's going to be even worse. That's the thing. Yeah. Obviously. Like, 
another champ would probably push the wave faster, but I can play Wayne, I think, if I work on the wave management. Maybe. I'll and think. then here, and then here, after you, you get the kill. So this is good follow up. Very, very good. Then you go under the Zeri. This is good. This is good that you're chasing because it's a free kill. And right now, right now, she the chances been. of you getting a kill now just decreased a lot. Because okay. she's full HP. We have a huge wave into the tower, so if you stay on bot and you know for a fact you're going to get XP and gold. So we yeah. shouldn't really look to chase here. So this kind of stuff can be very, very, very severe for you in, in Diamond 1. Because you have okay. a big wave on the bot lane. So remember the wave when you left? Yeah, yeah. I should, I should push this. Exactly. Because we got lucky, we got a kill, and then you go there. And then here, you said, hey, I should just recall, right? So why did you think that? Let's see, let's go step by step. Okay, well, I thought um, the cannon will hold. I mean, it's kind of stupid, but I hope for a fact the cannon, uh, my cannon will hold enemy's wave. Um, and since my wave is arriving faster than enemy's wave, since it's closer to my turret, I just hope the uh, wave will like freeze automatically. I don't know mm. if you know what I mean. It's kind of... I don't yeah, know, okay. I'm not sure. Let's see, yeah. let's see. So, usually when you want to see where the wave is pushing, like, first of all, if the wave right now is coming into them, what should you do right now? Let's assume that this the wave is coming into them now, with this wave state. Uh, yeah, I should push. You should push. So we know that if the wave is coming into them, you should push. But right now, obviously, we have to see if the wave is coming into them now or not. So we have eight minions against seven minions. So the wave is coming into us. Yeah. The problem is that the next wave that is going to meet closer to our tower is going to come here and is going to make a big wave. Yeah. yeah. And this wave is not really big enough to keep the freeze. Like, for example, if they had 10 minions and he had 5, and the next wave is coming right here, then we have 10 minions into the enemy team, so the wave is going to stay here for a long time. But yeah. since we they have 9 minions and we have 8, when the next wave minion is going to come here, it won't matter because it's just one minion advantage here. Yeah, yeah, let's see. You see? So this wave was, if it was a, a, a lot more more bigger, then sure, you could have recalled. But in this position, because the difference between the amount of minions is insignificant, it's, basically, it's just yeah, one, it's you should so. insta-crush. Like here, you should stay in insta-crush. Yeah. Very, very yeah. important. Yeah. So, the, so the first mistake when we didn't really um, ask Mastery to recall, and this mistake, I think you lost the game here. Uh, okay right here because we lost so much i mean you didn't die and stuff but right now you just you're like very behind in xp very behind in cs very behind in tempo and you go into lane and you're like oh fuck uh, again my wave is so bad yeah yeah and this i can't push a lot. it probably yeah. since yeah. i'm waiting again i can't allow myself those mistakes exactly exactly okay 840 let's see the 840 Oh yeah, oh yeah, yes. Okay, so we know that the, the Akali was coming here just based on how they play. Look at the Zeri. Look at the Zeri. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah she's look at the Zeri. tanking in tired way. Like she just eat into the, the into you. Yeah, and I was like, she's in thing, but she yes. wasn't actually. Yes. I mean, kind of ish, but... You should always expect them to like have a brain when they do this. Yeah, okay. And then here, how do you play this? Let's see. Well, I should ghost immediately. So right now, I, how is she going to do the combo here, that Kali? Uh, she's R-ing in, and exactly. then she's pressing E, and then she's like, True. yeah, she's like doing the Akali combo thingy. How can you how can you counter that? Um, I think I can't E the R, the first R, exactly. but I can, so but I can. She, if she's going to go hit on you, you have the minions, so she can't open with E, but she can't open yeah. with her E, so she has to open with R. But if she yeah. opens with R and you interrupt that with your contempt, she's going to be here with the, after the contempt, and then we can just run like this with Soraka. Okay. So here, insta contempt. There, you okay. would, she would yeah. have been here right now, and then we just run. Soraka just runs, and they can't do anything because Sejuan is level five. They don't have a setup. Yeah. Okay. So this is big because here we should have fight. Like right now, ima yeah. imagine Soraka was here and Akali was here still. Yeah, she would have survived, obviously, exactly. since they got no Sidrania. Ah, exactly. yeah. Exactly, exactly. And you also and wouldn't that... die, you see? Yeah, yeah. I underestimated Akali there. Exactly. Yeah, Insta condemned. And then right now, again, we lost the wave because of the wave management. I'm wondering how much, how many minions she's ahead, this area. 
At this point, I think uh, after I return wow. to lane 30. She's, but it's 30. It's going or to grow, yes, yes, yes. Like, I think I, see, I, I come see, back. I see, I see, I see. Yeah, 26. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, big thing, big thing. So, wave management again. So. Yes, wave management and a bit of general knowledge. I think you knew what Akali does, but you just didn't really condemn. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's see what happens here. The camera control was much faster right here. Let's see. So he goes on the river right here. You have a wave into the tower. They are doing Drake. The guy is very low. You have the wave into the tower, so you can't really follow that. You can only follow that like this. Yeah. But not like this. Okay. You try to stay around. You didn't really miss any experience. That was good that you're trying to look to go there. Even though you missed a little bit of minions. That was fine. Okay, so the camera control is what, what the camera control here was much better. Okay. Um, good. 10 0 10 10. Okay. Okay. This is big. Okay, so I think that the guy that I coached before you was an AD carry that was Diamond 2. And after we did the last coaching session with the same mistake like you, uh, he got Master Tier. So right now, let's see this mistake. So right here, how is this wave right now? Um, yeah, well, it's closer to my turret, but it's even. Yeah. And I'll try to slow push it, true. I guess. True, true. Slow pushing, because if you fast push, then you just give the free farm to the yeah, yeah. Zeri, to the and you can't push it in time. So until what point do you want to slow push this? Let's see. Uh, I guess until I hit the last melee. Right now I should hard push it since exactly. new wave is coming in. Exactly. But I don't this. know this for... Yeah, I don't do it because yes, I'm not yes, sure yes. about this. Yes, because right now... Why is it so bad to like la only last hit right now? Yeah, because my uh, wave is getting thinner and it could be like a big wave crash. Yeah, so right now, if you push right now, you can actually crash this wave and do something on the river. But the problem is that if you don't crash now, the next wave that is coming from their base is going to meet with your wave right here. Right here, and it's so bad. And if then I'm in the right danger with spot again. Exactly, because yeah. look at this. Like here, I told you to push, I think. Yes. But right now, it's already late, right? Yeah, yeah I should have done it like three exactly. creeps of the last wave. Yeah, okay, I don't, I, I'm, I know this, but I don't know when exactly. So, yes, yeah, yes, I should yes, have, yes. like... So yes. when the melees are gone from the wave before, I should well, have... Well, right now, you just have to wait the next wave. So the moment when you have to push is exactly when the wave arrives here. So you should push like, like right... Now. Right now, you should start pushing. Ping, assistance, assistance, and go. Because okay, you have the okay. wave right here. So that's okay. the perfect moment. Okay. I'll okay. understand as soon as the next wave hits. Oh, did I miss the writing? No. Okay, so... Being fast on deciding between recall without push, yes. Crash and recalling, yes. And this is what I meant. Slow pushing to crashing. This is what yeah. I meant. This is the situation. Yeah. So like the turn. Yeah, two I waves see. crash. Well, three waves crash properly. I'll write all of the things down. So next time when we meet, I already know like what you did wrong. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Good. Ten, ten, uh, and you also like send the message in the end, so I'll can, yeah, of like... course, of course. Okay, okay, well, I'll okay. send the message. You're going to have the tips. <laughs> okay, the okay. So don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, it's good. Ten, ten, thirteen, fifty. Like, let's see. This one. Okay. Oh yeah, you remember this one? Okay, let's see. So you decided yeah, to yeah. stay, which is good because she was walking up and no reason to recall and let her push when you can actually I should punish her. All in already. When she hits Soraka and I'll go for it, I should all in since condemn angle is better. Right now, yeah. Now it's too late already, kind of. Let's see. So we don't want to force. Like right here is the best time. Like when she goes like oh, this, okay. this is the best time because you okay. RQ and you can E flash right here. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah, well, I didn't yeah. even see this wall. It's it's my bad. I should have. Yeah, I'll see. There we go. Obviously. We go. That's good. And now That's I good. like. You're still winning. And now I, I choose uh, an angle, which is. Yes, the moment when Zillian. So the, mo the the reason why you take this call is because if Zillian goes like this onto the mid lane, you just 100% kill the Zeri. So this yeah, is yeah. the thought process. If Zillian is not here, you can all in. You did all in. The moment when you see the Zillian. Like right, right now this is good. We can go. Right now you have to be like, oh fuck it. Okay, I'm going okay. to back. I don't know where it's Sejo. Zillian is here. I'm not going to get a kill, so we should back. 
We also missed yeah. a few clicks, as you can see. So the uh, condemn E flash, the big commitment here. So yeah. the fact that you missed the mechanics, I'm not uh, concerned with this one because your mechanics are already master team. But the call was bad because if Zilin is here, we should stop committing because we know that he has ultimate. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video because this is the only way I can see if the content is good. Otherwise, I would not make it. Please feel free to share with me what you want to see on this channel so I can maybe make a video uh, with that. Remember that what you're seeing right now on YouTube is just a limited part of the whole coaching session. If you're serious about getting better in League of Legends, I invite you to book your personalized high quality coaching session by adding me on Discord now. More details in the description. For those who are really uh, serious about improving climbing but don't really have the financial resources to have their own coaching, if you want to get access to all of my coaching sessions and improve 10 times faster, you can subscribe to my exclusive Patreon where I post every single coaching that I do between 7 and 15 hours per day. I already have over 115 videos right there on how to climb on ADK, support top lane, jungle mid lane, wave management, videos for every rank. Bronze, Silver, Gold, Diamond, Grandmaster, every single rank. If you want to get full access to all of those exclusive videos and find out what are the new secrets on how to get better and how to enjoy the game even more, I invite you to click the link below or somewhere right here and make League of Legends fun again. What are we waiting for? The links are down below in the description.